each year, a new group of talented singers and dancers put their life onto the PAC stage for a spring musical performance. Each student counts down their years and refuses to take a moment for granted. For some, like Noah Felty, he's taken the lead these past four years and now has to say goodbye to his Hemfield musical career. But he'll always remember that there's no place like home and he will keep these memories for a lifetime. I don't really want to leave right now. Like the first semester I was like, I was like, I'm, I'm gone. I'm out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Um, and now that we're in musical and dance theater, I'm like, well, I really want to hold on to these things. But part of it's telling myself that I need to let go. And it's like, that's just part of life. Senior Noah Felty has been involved in Hemfield's musical theater program for four years now. He has played all leading roles such as Bert in Mary Poppins, The Beast in Beauty and the Beast, Nick Piazza in Fame the Musical, and finally as Scarecrow and Hunk in The Wizard of Oz this past month. All of these leading up to the point where the high school stage has become a comfort place and still has trouble thinking about how to say goodbye. The thing I look forward to the most is, is musical and dance theater every year. And I feel like my year doesn't start until I can see how my high school experience and really just like my life would have been a lot different had I not been so involved with this. The family-like feeling throughout the department has drawn everyone closer together with both the students and with the director, Mr. Ramos. It sounds cheesy to say that you have this family there, but it's really true um, from my perspective and it feels like of all the things I've been involved with in high school or really just in my life, like this is the most, it's a group of people that you feel the most connected to. It's always changing, obviously, like every year it changes. There's always that sense of community, like year in and year out. And I think that's something super valuable. Building this community, building this family, building this safe space for people to just live and, and be and create art any time of the day. Scarecrow, by virtue of his highly superior grades, shall rule in my stead. The HHS productions have not been the only striving growth Noah has had in his career. He has had some outside push and encouragement along the way. A big part of my musical theater experience or like background comes from my parents. So their influence has been pretty strong throughout my life. When I was sitting there with my mom, I was like, it's like, huh, well, I'll check Roberts and I. And I was like, but I don't think I'm like, I'm not old enough to, to play like Bird or anything. So I probably shouldn't check that. And she was like, ah, just do it just in case. Deluxe from the French pertaining to luxury. Along with all of the after high school stressors, Noah is involved in musical, dance theater, student council, national honor society, and played as the varsity soccer goalie in the fall. He spends much of his time at school and wouldn't want it any other way. I'm here all the time, but like I want it that way. Like I get home and I'm like, I want to be doing something right now. He looks at that schedule and he's like, man, that's a busy day. But I love doing it. I love coming to school. I love coming back to work on that blogging. I love coming to sing that song because I, I earned it. Or I love just singing. I love how it goes. As the end of the school year draws closer and closer and more students make their final decisions for after graduation, Noah isn't fully sure what his plans are, but he knows some valuable takeaways from his high school experience. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do following high school as, um, in the arts or just in general, but what I I've come to realize is that it's not necessarily the fact that I'm doing a musical or it's not necessarily the fact that I'm like putting on a dance theater production that is what holds so much value for me. It's all the experiences that surround it and like with the people in it. And to think like how much this has meant to us for the past four years and then to think about like what the actual last show is going to feel like because last shows are always emotional. Like everybody's always like like sad. It's, it's a bittersweet moment to have a last show. Because it's real, like you, you put so much effort in this thing and then it's just gone like that. Yeah. And now, thankfully, I've done Cedar after that to kind of like pull me through it. But um, it's definitely going to be sad to see something that has meant so much to me come to a close. But I appreciate what it's done for me. As far as what that teaches me to take outside of high school, it's like just to, to value those things. Because like now my senior year realizing I mean, you know the whole time it's not going to last forever, but now having it be like very real, like I'm trying to soak in every moment of these last rehearsals and eventually performances, uh, because I guess what I'm trying to say is that like the people matter more than the art form. For musical seniors like Noah, closing show was said to be one of their best, and he would like to thank all who came out for making his last show so meaningful. As these talented performers say their goodbyes, many are setting the stage for their great plans after Hemfield. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Savannah Miller. I, I don't have any words. I was sobbing at the end, but um, it's been really a really beautiful four years, and I could not be happier that it happened, and I'm going to miss it a lot.